Welcome back, Canaanites, and boy is it good to be back. Last week was pretty heavy in terms of content, so this week, as is often the case, is a bit lighter. We open with a quick preview of Halo Tales from Slipspace. We start with the cover art, which, while very nicely drawn and colored, doesn't really give us any hints about the content we can expect within. Not that that's a bad thing, mind you. I'm just saying. After that, we get a little something... more. A full-page preview of one of the stories being told. From what we can glimpse, this particular story follows Blue Team in 2558 before the events of Halo 5, and follows from the perspective of Kelly 087. The art loosely reminds me of Last Voyage of the Infinite Secor, and is overall very good. Basically, I do have some hopes for the visual style of this comic anthology. The authors, too, give me some hope. Familiar names include Duffy Boudreaux, who wrote for Halo Escalation after the next 72 hours arc, and while the end of the series was... questionable, to be extremely polite, some of his other works in there were very well done. Jonathan Goff, who contributed to Halo Evolutions, notably with the story Headhunters, John Jackson Miller, who is also contributing to Halo Fractures, and of course, Frank O'Connor. The comic releases on October 25th and is currently available for pre-order. Link in the description box. Moving forward, we get a description for a set of Mjolnir armor coming in the next Halo 5 update, Stinger. Stinger is the lightest contemporary Gen 2 variant, and would save even more mass if Mjolnir standards for power pack endurance and armor protective levels were relaxed. Developed in conjunction with the AV-49 Attack VTOL, the Stinger class Mjolnir helmet has two neural interface controllers that allows the Spartan operator to switch from flight to ground command modes at the speed of thought. Not much else to say at this point, we're still a ways out from the update. And our final section today includes a taste of some lore for a very special Warthog variant coming in the Hog Wild update, the Sword Hog. Experiments with Subanese crystal explosives and Sangheili regenerative shield technologies are being pioneered by UNSC forces working with the Arbiter's Swords of Sanghelios. These teams, operating in concert with allied Sangheili forces, have also been utilizing locally sourced surface treatments and parts for their fleet of vehicles. The novel innovations introduced as a result of this cooperation have now been put to the test in wargame simulations on the UNSC Infinity and at high command. So, it sounds like we can expect a shielded warthog with a Needler chain gun. Yes, please. The article closes today with a quick mention about the recent announcement that Forge is coming to Windows 10. Making maps will be easier than ever, and the Windows 10 version will also feature limited custom games functionality for the purpose of playtesting. And with that, the main article comes to an end and brings us to, not the new, but the featured universe entries this week, which are the Type 55 Turret Emplacement, or Shade Turret, and the Type 56 Anti-Aerospace Turret, or Shrike Turret. We talked about these back when they were first posted, and as there's no new information, I hope you'll forgive me for skipping over the descriptions this week. Well, that does it for now. Within the next week or so, I hope to get that final Halo 5 discussion video up, so until then, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.